Hey guys, and welcome back. My name's NG Paradox, and welcome back to the Targaryens. Want to apologize for the infrequency of episodes being uploaded recently. Just had a lot of things going on at the moment. That has meant there have been some delays in certain series. So I do apologize for that, but I'm hoping to get things back on track today. Now, we're back to the Targaryens, and a lot of things are going on at the moment. At the moment, my little, little daughter, uh, Princess Rayla, she's now gone to attack the phrase at the crossing. Now, this could be an amazing idea, really cool thing for her to do to kind of get her own land. But she only has 5,000 men. Now, she does have a dragon, of course, Goldfire, but Goldfire only has five martial. It's only nine years old. I don't think it can be used in battle just yet. I think it has to be at least 10 martial or 16. I can't remember which way around it is. That there's something that means it can only be used in battle at a certain point. I can't remember which one. So either way, it can't be used, I don't think. So she's going to have a problem. The phrase, Lord Manfred the Shrewd, uh, he has 8,000 men. So he does have an advantage and she has to ship all her men across. Now, where is she actually? We could look where she is. She's in the shield sea. So that means she's probably down in the reach where the shield islands are, I would suspect. So we probably should be helping her now. We can offer to join the war, and that is probably our best thing to do yet. Yeah, we could probably just offer to join her war. Let's do that, and just make sure that she wins. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, my son is now come to age, so I should be giving him Dragonstone, and also all the lands of, over here, so the claw and whatnot. I do want to give him all that. Now, I actually can't create the title uh, Kingdom of the Claw at the moment, which would have been cool, but I can't actually create it for some reason. We're going to have to wait. Maybe he can create it himself, maybe. But I'm going to give it to my son. We are go I'm going to give him a few more years. He just became 16. But obviously, with the war going on with his sister, we want to get that sorted first. And also, you know, he has a he still has a chance to get a formidable fighter. Um, obviously, the chief general, she's still training children. It can still actually happen, so we could still get it. So we might as well keep until maybe he's 19. Also, I plan to take the stepstones. Um, obviously, the stepstones are not a big deal. I don't really care about them that much. That's why I've ignored them for a while. But uh, we need to take them. They're just getting in the way. As we can see, there are pirates everywhere in Valeria. They've seen the richness of New Valeria. And they keep coming to annoy us. So I'd like to take them down and put them under our wing. That way we control the pirates. So that's something we're going to plan to do as soon as we've helped my, my daughter, of course. There we go. Let's jump right in. So we have a claim just there. I need to make a new general, apparently, I guess because my daughter disappeared. I'll gladly accept your offer of assistance. Very nice. Let's have a look here. Who could we have as two new commanders? We could choose Monford Crab. So we can make one of the crabs. Yep, there we go. One of my new vassals from the claw. Could be one of my new commanders. Then we'll have, I guess, uh, Tero. He is a genius, after all. But then again, this guy's a holy warrior. A cavalry leader and unyielding. Sirio, not too bad there. So is this guy, Kosomo. Let's go with Sirio, just because his name's Sirio. You know, Sirio Pharrell. It's kind of similar to that. Uh, now, obviously, we do have our... Um, our dragon knights, as we're calling them, basically all of my family. We're going to include, I think, my. Can I not choose my son for this? Is my son already a member of this, or maybe he's too young? No, he's not. Ba basically, it's my two sisters, my daughter, and maybe my son. <laughs> but we need to get some men. Now, I don't need to take too many men because we should be able to defeat him quite easily. So, how about we raise up. Actually, I need. Is there a Mega War system for this? Does not know there's a mega war system for this. So we should be okay. Okay, I'm just going to raise some men then. We have 10,000 men here. That should be enough. Uh, we could raise some ships. We don't have enough ships. How about if I get some more ships from uh, Maya? That's enough. Okay, we'll take these ships up here. Join to these men. We'll put a dragon rider in charge of this. I guess I could lead the charge. I guess I should. I haven't been out for fighting, although I'm a bit stressed. Hmm, I guess I will go in at this time. Uh, then we'll send... Yeah, Rainies will come with me just in case. And Monford Crab. We'll, I know obviously taking three dragons is the best thing to do. But, you know, we need to give some other generals a chance. You know, it's not always that the dragons go out fighting. Dragons cause a lot of trouble and stuff. It makes people not like you. So wait for the boats to come and then we can go help my daughter. 
Uh, someone also pointed out they felt that Aegon should be a bit more um, zealous, maybe, with his choices. Now, I'm kind of seen in Aegon a bit similar to, like, Stannis. Uh, Stannis, obviously, I'm talking about book Stannis, of course. Stannis in the book, um, even though he saw the stuff about Roller, even though he was chosen by Roller, uh, well, he was told he was, he still was never, I would say, completely on board. He gets more and more into it, but he never seems to fully embrace it most of the time. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I kind of feel Aegon would be in a similar vein. He's seen some things. Uh, he's been kind of chosen. He's a bit fire-obsessed, but that's just more of a, a silly thing. We, we might as well go around the way she went. We won't go up this way. We'll come in this way so we don't go onto people's... Uh, land. We'll come all the way up here. Let's head off. Now our money at the moment is doing okay and I think we are... So do we have a slave group? Um, we do have some slaves at the moment. I do want to get more and I will do some slave raids, people don't worry, <laughs> at some point. I, I just felt the time that it felt a bit cheap. I don't know why, I just felt like I didn't want to do it because it felt a bit too easy, especially with Aegon. Um, I wasn't sure if Aegon would be that bored about slaves, but he probably would be if we're leader of uh, New Valyria. Okay. Black Tide has ended. Uh, the Iron Isles has won. So actually, there's a, there's a young boy in charge of uh, the Iron Isles, Gilbert Hore. Okay. Obviously, the, the Iron Isles is much weaker than it used to be. They've basically lost almost all of the Riverlands. And my daughter's going to go take it for her own, which is kind of nice. Pretty cool to see that. Um, don't know how she's doing at the moment. My son is actually with us, it looks like. She's in the east. Oh, no. No, my son is with her, it looks like. Yes, my son has gone off with her as part... That, that's pretty awesome. See, both my children, husband and wife, brother and sister, going off on an epic quest. And I'm there to help them out just in case. Just in case. She says only 5,000 men, though. Has he got any men to ally with? He did. Seaguard and Wayfarer's Rest have also come to help him. Well, that's that's cool to see that some of the other Riverlands people are coming to help him. So we've got Seaguard going there to help him. Lord Illifer, the Hunter Malister. A strong Malister there. And uh, Wayf wasn't it Wayf Wayfarer's Rest? Yes, it was. Okay, let's have a quick look here then. All old men. A lot of the Riverlands lords seem to be old men. Lord John Vance. He's a bit of a drunkard, though. But apparently they're all friends. In some capacity. Here come my ships. So my daughter was in the Dornish Sea. So that means she's not even going towards them. Unless we passed her. Shield Sea. So she's now in Shield Sea. We should be able to see her anyway. Here she is. 200 men. So yeah, we saw her ships actually before. We saw her men all on here. So she should have... She should be able to have enough on that. Yeah, definitely. So you should bring in all her men. We'll let her go first. Actually, you know what? Let's just us go first. I can't be bothered. Let's go. Let's get this action underway. Conquest of the Crossing. Of all the places she chose, this is probably, this is probably my favorite place for the choose. I don't know why. I just love the idea of a Targaryen going on a, an adventure to take over the twins. It just seems like a perfect opportunity. Now, my daughter's actually going to Sea Guard. Likely they will choose to attack her. Now, with 10,000 men, this should be pretty easy. Now, they're going to go to hunt her down. So, we should probably go to help. Now, 14th of January, they'll get them the second of So, we probably won't be able to get to the helper, which is kind of annoying. But we'll have to go anyway. Unless I take the boat. Actually, by the time we get on the boat, yeah, we passed. Let's just keep going. So, she's now got her 5,000 men there. She should be able to hold off. By the time... Can she hold off? There's also more Sea Guard men coming. Not sure if she's going to be able to hold off. Okay, that's... That's way past the 12th. 14th. We're going to 29th. I don't think she's going to be able to hold off. They're going to start losing men. Oh, but no, she is. Maybe her dragon did. Maybe she was using her dragon at the time. Because she seemed to be doing quite well. She was managing to hold them back. Huh. Not sure about that. But she did definitely lose there. But we're about to go in to destroy them. There we go. They've got low morale. We have dragons. There's nothing they can really do there, the phrase and the Malisters. So Humphrey Malister was captured. So he captured his son. Yes, his son. Not his firstborn son, it looks like. His secondborn son. He's been wounded as well. And he's married to the Vance, who's pregnant. Perfect. We'll take this man as our prisoner. 
Um, we've now got 70% because we absolutely destroyed their armies. We might as well just head off to the twins. Maybe burn the twins down. Sounds like a fun time. But then again, my daughter wants to control this land. Maybe I shouldn't burn it down then. So this is why I don't want to take over the world. Maybe is Aegon. Obviously, Aegon's 50. Still has lots of time, actually. We could easily take over the world of him still. But I, I like the idea of giving things for new generations to do. As we know, Aegon kind of took over Westeros. And he never really did more after that. Lord Vardis the Uncaring has declared war of independence against King Ronald the Eagle. I guess this is probably because he tried to take his stuff away, most likely. Only 1,000 men. Yeah, I can't see him doing well there. The Eagle has him. It would seem. Uh, it should be pretty quick to take out the crossing. It shouldn't take us long to do that. And you see the Vances are coming up. And we've already won. Release all prisoners. Hmm, there's some people in the dungeons here. Oop, didn't mean to click that. Let's have a look-see. We've got 100% anyway, so we've won. Who are the prisoners in here? Release all prisoners. We have a guy called Traeger. He's someone in my daughter's party. And we have someone else. Yeah, we should release them all then. Yeah, they're the only two prisoners. We'll release all her pe men who worked for her. That That's fine. Your Majesty, we've rounded up everybody. Clap the leader in irons. And there we go. The war is won. Simple as that. So my daughter and my son are actually going to go and basically control the crossing. That's what's going to happen here. I just realized... Um, I'm fine with that, really. Though. That could be kind of fun, letting them have their own kingdom they create, proving themselves to be just like their father. So there we go. She's now Lady Rail of the Crossing, and she is pregnant. There we go, but she did have, obviously, her, her stillborn son, but she's pregnant. Good going there, Lena. You're, you're a good lad after all. So at 16 years old, he's got pregnant, which is very nice. 821, yeah. She's got her pregnant. Hopefully this one ends up good. But I'm really happy to see her there. Um, he's underneath her. Yeah, so both of them are going to stay in the cross. And we're going to go off. Um, I'm going to have to do something else with Dragonstone. <laughs> I'm going to have to do something else with Dragonstone until they inherit New Valyria. But yeah, Commander Gunther was introduced by a mutual friend. And we talked for quite a while. Gunther Estamont. Okay. Mern Sloan. Uh, I wouldn't mind talking to him some more. I don't like his opinion. Hmm. I mean, does Aegon really care? I wouldn't want to be friends with him. Yeah, I guess we're going to go no, get to know him. I wouldn't mind talking to him some more. We'll become friends with the Estermont. I don't know why. Now, we're going to get our men back because obviously uh, if we leave them there, we can't actually click them out. And what is this? Your, Mag Your Imperial Majesty, we have word from Winterfell that King Brandon the Twelfth Stark has held a grand council of the nobles of the north. There he apparently won their back and to launch an invasion of foreign realm. And is expected to launch one soon. So, okay, so it looks like the Starks are looking to expand their realm. This could be the first time we might see this from any of the kingdoms in the west. Brandon Stark, married to, yeah, of the Narrow Sea. He's got ice, he's a bit of a hedonist, he's ambitious, of course. Very good stats overall, actually. He's not too bad. His son is a pretty good fighter and steward as well. Married to another Stark. Hopefully, I'm worried he's going to attack the crossing. I feel, <laughs> I feel like he's going to choose to attack the crossing because, I mean, there is the Vale, of course. They are connected there. That could be pretty cool. And he could beat the Vale. I think he should go for the Vale. That would be pretty nice to see. We'll wait for them to get there. So what to do with Dragon, um, Dragonstone then? I'm just going to keep it for now. Okay, he's getting them to like me a bit more. And who are we going to put other... We need to get some rid of some two vassals, probably. I mean, we're fine at the moment. Once we get our men back, though, we will go for the, uh, the stepstones. My men should be back by now. There we go. And you may notice I'm not really trying to hover over um, Essos. It's because, as I said before, we did suffer some crashes. Um, so I'm trying to stay away from Essos. Because if I go over this part, I feel like Cahor and uh, Norvos and stuff, when I go along there, that's where it always crashes. So I'm trying to stay away from that at the moment, not to go over it unless I have to. Okay, need a new Imperial General again. I feel like we just always need generals. What's going on? Taro, the genius. Let's go for the genius then. Might as well go for him. He's got a good marshal. Uh, my children. 
Yeah, I can't give him anything. I can't even invite him to court now. So we'll, we'll let them have their fun in the crossing. They'll be lords of the crossing for now. We'll see what they do. Can they prove themselves to be worthy? But my daughter, she's definitely... She, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with her. She was definitely a worthy daughter. The Stormlands offer. Okay, so it probably looks like they did the um, get rid of slavery thing there. I finished what the war was about before. And there we go, we, defeat <laughs> we defeated those pirates. It's exactly why I want to get rid of the pirates, because the pirates are getting frustrated. We need to put them under us. Stop them from doing their damn pirating. So there we go, we'll get rid of them. And we'll get rid of the ships. And then we'll declare war on these guys, because we might just declare war. Likely they'll just give up. So we declare war. Um, Dragon Conquest. Bloody Vengeance, apparently. Pirate Lord. I'm in a feud of them, am I? Are we really? Why am I in a feud of him? Huh. Let's have a quick look here. I, I really don't remember that. Maybe that happened quite a while ago and I've just forgotten. No house has blood feud with Targaryens. Okay, apparently I don't. Um, White Harbor and of Fen apparently have a... Oh, so is Greyfur and of Fen. White Harbor and of Fen. Okay, yeah, lots of feuds between Grey Furs and White Harbor and Fen. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Um, Foresters and White Hills, of course, always. Blackwoods and Brackens, of course. Yarrick and Sarsfield. Okay, just the normal ones you normally see. Um, Legitimized Auries. Let's have a quick look at Auries, actually. How's Auries doing? Still the first ranger of the Night's Watch. It's a shame they never made him Lord. He, he should be Lord Commander, really. He'll be Lord Commander one day, I think. Maybe when the next guy dies. So we declared War of Conquest. I should probably just uh, declare on all of them, to be honest. At the same time. We'll do that. Everyone's going to honor their allegiance. So, you know, likely he's just going to lose. I probably don't have to move. Offer vassalization? No, declare war then. Done. We'll offer them vassalization, actually, first. No, we can't offer him vassalization, apparently. So we'll just do Dragon Conquest. Or claim Bloodstone. For this guy. He's a pirate, anyway. So just do Dragon Conquest. Nope, no vassalization. Okay, Dragon Conquest. Give these damn pirates. Getting in our way, they are. There we go. This one. Declare war. Dragon Conquest. Likely, I would think some of them will give up. Um, I can't imagine they're all going to fight me. Because it would seem a bit silly. Because they literally have no chance. <laughs> they really have no chance in this war. Even all together... They have nowhere near enough men. Let's begin here. Let's see, who will uh, bend the knee? So, you know, points of the first one's given up. Uh, the next one's given up. The next one. <laughs> They're all just literally, yep, not really surprised there. Okay, I was kind of hoping. <laughs> so, the wars are over. There we go. And the long and arduous wars for the Stepstones are over. There we go. <laughs> so, there we have it. The Great Wars are over. And now I'm definitely over my vassal. We're going to have to deal with that at some point. Definitely going to have to deal with that at some point. Um, titles, bodyguards, ducal claims. Wrong title horns. Okay, I'm going to have to give away some of these. Maybe I could give away all of these to, like, uh, Tyrosh. They haven't got to deal with all these damn pirates. That could be a point. I guess I'll put them under Tyrosh. Because I can't create the you know, kingdom of the Stepstones. Uh, these guys, I'm going to wait until we have this. Because I can create the kingdom of Valeria. Hopefully, give it to my heir. That might become the new one for the heir. Um, the Roin, yeah, I have no... I can't make the, the Roin title. Up here, Sarth. Yeah. Who are you? What the... You're going to be under Larath. Okay, we're going to put him under Larath. So, Orbello uh, Larathi. What the hell's Orbello? Oh, Bello. Okay, maybe I should just put, uh, just type Larafi in. Don't know why I put La. Nope. No, Laraf does not appear. Okay, we'll go for culture then. That would have been much easier. Uh, Lazine Larafi. I think that's. No, that's not the one. That's the Lord of Riddler's Weech. Why is that guy not coming up underneath it? Huh. 
Not sure. Is there a war going on between them? No, there's not. Not sure why that's changed. This guy's probably underneath him as well, actually. He probably is, to be perfectly honest. Hell, they don't come up underneath him. That usually means they're not de jure. Let's have a quick look at the kingdoms. Yeah, he's not technically underneath him. Okay, we won't we won't do that then. Um, I'll leave the other ones as it is. Well, this one that's also Andolas. Okay, we'll leave them for now. I I'm fine with that. Sacrificial burnings of an offering to the Lord of Light will give me much favor. Um, oh, I still have Manfred Frey, Manfred the Shrewd. Ah, yes, the leader of uh, the Freys. I still have him. Sacrifice him to Roller. Well, like I say, I, I don't feel maybe Aegon has a particular feeling towards Roller. So we're just going to do the, what he has to do. He's going to do it because he has to, but he's not going to be particularly uh, fond of it. That's just how I feel. Maybe, maybe you guys disagree. That's perfectly fine. Do tell me. I always like to hear what you guys think. But yeah, I'm going to have to do something like that at some point. Definitely need to find a way to put them under something. I, I'm thinking of the step zones to... Uh, Tyrosh. I think that's the only way I can do this. Yeah, let's do that. Transfer Vassalage. I feel like it's the only thing I can do right now. Uh, Rogod or Faraki. Pirate. Oh, Cave is a pirate. Yes, I completely forgot about that. Okay, um, how am I going to find all of them? I guess I could type in pirate. Will that pot up? Uh, that will pop up. Yep, yeah, perfect. Ordo. Oh, Udo? Yeah. Just do these now, then. Um, oh God, can, we, can we just keep it up? Why can't you do lots at the same time? Um, this guy. A wreck stone. Yep, he definitely is one. And the next one. This is so frustrating I have to do it this way. I wish there, was, there should be really another way to do this. I really do feel like there must be another more easier system than the one they've got at the moment. I guess a lot of time you don't have to do this too much. I guess there's only a few times we've actually had to do this in different series, but it would just be so much easier if they found a way to do it properly. I don't know, that's just me thinking out loud. Um, sunstone. Because if it at least gives some away, it will not affect us too badly. Okay, there we go. Just a few more. Shame Isle. And Pirate. Okay, Dark Den. Apparently he's a genius as well. There you go, you now have a genius there. Now I'm fine with giving them all to this one guy, because these guys are not particularly powerful. So it's not like he's gaining a lot of men, so I'm not too bothered about him having them. Plus they're more like the causing problems, actually, than actually helping him. <laughs> so yeah. It could actually be a good thing. There we go. They've all been given away. Um, I'm going to have to stop recording here, actually, for this part. Because, actually, that, that, that time bloody flies. Jesus. But I hope you guys will join us next time. Uh, my children. Where's the baby? Yes, they had the baby. And it's another lunatic. Oh, Prince Varman. Really? Varman? Really? It sounds like vermin. Okay, apparently we have Prince Varman of the Crossing. He's a lunatic. Oh, maybe we could cure him. Damn it, I need to burn people. We have to burn people, people. We have to save my grandson <laughs> from his insanity. Maybe maybe we should burn him. Maybe maybe I should burn him. <laughs> we'll see. I'll see you guys next time. Good night.